Uh, hello, this is a note on a, uh, a standard problem in marine navigation, uh, which is um, finding the course to steer to correct for a known current or an anticipated current. So we have to get that current from somewhere. Either we measure it with our GPS and knot meter and log and compass and so forth, or we more likely look it up, uh, say, in a tidal current book. But somehow we know we have an estimate of the current and we want to, um, and we want to calculate the um, course of steer that will take us in the direction we want to go and, and correct for that current. It's a, it's a standard standard procedure. Now, there are rules, and I think in our own textbook, we have some various shortcut rules that you can sort of work in your head how to compensate for currents, uh, currents on the beam or currents, uh, currents on the bow or in the stern and so forth. So we have these shortcut rules. But this, this note's not about the shortcut rules that, frankly, always work because you don't ever know the current accurate enough to do otherwise. But let's assume we know the current accurately, and we're going to just plot this out. So we're using the plotting method to solve this. All right, So and this is, again, this is an exercise from one of our quizzes in our online course on marine navigation. It says your speed is 5 knots, the current is 1 knot to 030, what course do you need to steer in order to achieve a course over the ground? Now, I think on our new word, on our proper wording of that, I think it'd be better to say course made good. But let's say you want to achieve a course made good at 260. All right. So that's the, and let's discuss that a little bit before we actually uh, solve it. So let me go over here, and I'm using OpenCPN, and let's just get a picture of what's going on. And I'm any place on the chart. In fact, I don't have to be on a chart. I'm doing a chart because I'm using this uh, charting program, which draws all the lines for me and makes it easier. But you can do this with parallel rulers and dividers, or a, a, uh, well, you know, a compass rose, or not even a compass rose, a um, protractor, plain sheet of white paper, plain sheet of white paper, and a protractor, and parallel rulers and dividers, you should solve this that way. There are equations too, but it's so easy to do graphically. All right, so let's just say we start here and we want to go in direction 260. So again, remember our trick. We, we're out here, I'm reading 256, 257, 8, 9. I want to change just when it goes to... Oh, that was too quick. All right, I got it. And now with this program, I have to delete that. I have to delete that. There's no way I can go back and fix it. So I'm going to start again. I just have to be a little more careful. So I'm here, and I want this is the line I want to make, and I want to go up to this. Just turns to 260, 259, uh, 260. Okay, escape. That's a that's a route I want to make good. And now we're dealing with a current that's one knot in direction 035. So let's just take a look at what that looks like. This is uh, that's two knots. That's oh. Let me zoom in a little bit. Okay, so there is one knot. There is one knot. Point nine, there's that okay, case. So there's one knot through 34. You know, 30, uh, 34. Yeah, I'm just okay. 35, come down a little bit. Anyway, this is just for the point of it showing us. Okay, so we want to go this way. We have a current. And we have to assume that current's clear across our waterway, right? We can't assume it's, you know, one knot here and 0.9 and 0.7. Or ch we have to assume this. This operation assumes the current's the same everywhere. So we have. We want to make good. This course is what we want to track through the water, th track through the land rather, track th across a chart, and we we got to fight a current like this. Now, one way to and we're going five knots. So one way to look at it is what happens if you don't correct for that, right? So let's just back up and say I don't correct for that. So I start here and say yes, I'm starting at that point, and I want to go five knots. I mean, yeah, five miles. So I'm going to say what do I do? in one hour. So one hour, I end up right here. Then in one hour, all this water in the neighborhood has moved one mile, uh, one mile in direction uh, 35, something like, you know, okay, there's, uh, let me zoom in a little bit here. So there's, there's my one mile, and that's 32, 
Um, all right there, okay. So that's that. So what happens is, if I went down, I'm in this current, and I drove one hour down this way, then my current would put me up that way. So the whole water would move up that way. So my boat would end up here. So in fact, my course made good without any correction goes from here to here. Okay, yes. Escape to undo that escape. Okay, so that means look that means I I wanted to make I was I the pole boat was pointed towards 260 and I actually made good 269 269 so during this process I was set nine degrees to the right so the first seat of the pants guess is say oh well okay let me just point nine degrees into the current and that will bring me back to where I want to go and that's going to be often very close but that's not the right answer it won't quite do it let's just do that for example so what is this this is nine degrees That's 260 uh, so that's 251 okay so let me do that let me start out here at where I was say yes and then I'm gonna go 251 uh, for five miles so wait there's my where's my five okay there's my five and then I'm coming up to 251 right there bang okay now I'm at now I went five miles in that direction now let me take the currents gonna then push me one mile uh, one mile uh, oh, to 35. So there's 35. Well, okay, I'm not... Okay, it's right there. Okay, escape. Okay, so you see, it didn't quite get me back to... Oh, this one wasn't quite on the line, but it doesn't matter. Okay, so um, you see what happens is if I try to correct for just how much I get set if I don't correct, I don't quite get the right answer. So that that's a way to kind of roughly do it if you, you because this is very easy to, in other words, you could be just driving your boat down here. Let's say, let's think this through. I'm driving my boat down here and I got a trail, breadcrumb trail of my GPS is leaving a track behind me. And that track is showing that I'm going this way right here and I can read that and that says that was uh, uh, 269 and I wanted to st and I'm my boats headed towards 260 so I could just right now without doing any calculations whatsoever I could just turn that boat left and come down to 251 thinking that that would make me go straight now when you do that by the way you would not end up back on your desired track you would just end up kind of like going parallel to it what I want to show here is not quite parallel to it so that would be a rough guess in other words what you could do then on your GPS is you could just just turn left till you get back on your track then you would say I'd turn to this 251 and hopefully stay here well you'd find you won't quite stay there because that's not exactly the right solution okay so let's Let's now do the right solution and let me see okay I'll just start another one of these I just go anywhere here and put out 260 257 58 59 59 60 okay that's the track I want to be on now what we have to do is just take any place on this on, on this line now if you try to drop a mark well you could maybe do that you can drop a mark right here and then you'd have to move it over here to put it right on the line that's one way to do it and then we just start from here but it doesn't matter where you do it I think you could also just take a right click and say insert waypoint and you know then you've put in a waypoint right here and you could use it see that's that's 260 before it and that's 260 afterward that's just two ways to get an extra point in there for this manipulation and then this point here we can just delete that that's just another trick okay so we start here now what we have to do is we want to back out of the, the currents going that way right the currents going that way we know we're gonna have to drive into the current we're gonna have to drive into the current so we just take any point on our line 
mind that we want to make good, and we back the current out. So we want to do one, what is our, one, one knot in direction the reciprocal of 335, which is uh, what, uh, 35, 215. So I want to go here and start here, plot here, okay, yes. Now I want one knot. Let me just zoom in a little bit. When you, you know, when you got it zoomed, it's a little bit easier to get it accurate. So I want one knot in the direction 215, which is, oh, right there, bang, that's it. Now, okay, let me just escape for that. Okay, so that's the current. Now all we need to do at this point is go back and, and you'll see the logic here in a minute. I just start from here, say yes, and I want to go back onto this line, anywhere on this line where, I'm a, where this is exactly my speed, which I'm going to be making. Well, okay, escape. Okay, now I've got to move that. Ah, this is the trouble with OpenCPN. Once you drop a once you drop a point, you no longer get to see its dynamic live value. You know that, that's a, unfortunately. So let's just delete that, delete that, and yes, and then just start all over again, because once you drop it, you lose the dynamic of it. Okay, say yes. Now, so I don't want to. I want to just not drop it till I'm there. So I just go up to I find five miles on this line right there. Five mile bang, escape. Now that is the route. Now that's going. That's going the wrong direction. But so I just right click this and reverse it. Now everything I everything I'm doing here, you would do with a just on again a sheet of paper. Just draw a line in direction 260. Draw the current on any point on that line. Draw the current backwards. Backwards the right amount. This is one one knot back in that direction. And then you could just uh, set your dividers to five miles. Set your dividers to five miles and swing an arc here. See, that's exactly the same thing. I could go here and say properties, extended, put a bookmark on there and make it five miles and say, okay, right? Bang, that'll draw my line right there. Uh, but th that, that doesn't matter. That's just another way to do it. Oh, I don't want that. Cancel, cancel, cancel. Um, this is the mark. I'm going to get rid of that for the time being. Properties, extended, zero. Okay. But that's just like you're, when you're doing it on a piece of paper, you just put your dividers up there, swing an arc, and that's where you are. And so this is what you steer. So there's the answer. Is two, I'm, What I do is steer 252. 252. So I'm going in. The, remember, the current's going this way. So I'm driving into the current, and we've just computed the exactly right heading, 252. Oh, see, it was really close. This, what did we get up here? 251, I think, or something? Anyway, the right answer is 252, and, and how far off that other method will be depends on, you know, multiple factors. But uh, in this case, we turn, we, we're driving, we t turn in 252. And uh, then we'll go one hour down here on 252, and then in one hour the water will bring us back here, and we're right on the line where we want to go. Then another five, you know, we go like that. So we track... We track right straight down that line. Then, um, if you wanted to figure out, the other thing someone could ask you then, part of the question, I don't see it's part of this question, they could say, once you start doing that, we're driving 252, the next thing is going to say, what is your speed made good along that track? See, because you're, you're going five this way, but how fast are you going where you want to go, which is along this track? And that's this distance from here. That's one hour from here to here. You just go from here, click that, click that, okay, yes, click that, okay, yes, and uh, escape to end it. And there's your answer, 4.24. So you would be driving, your boat would be headed in direction 252. Two, and your knot meter would read 5.0, but you would actually be tracking at the rate uh, your COG. You would see that your COG. Ah, no, that's not. Let's see. Uh, COG. Uh, let me let me drop that thought for a minute. You would be making good towards your mark on the line you want at a speed of. Um, 4.24. Okay, so that's that is um, that solution, the graphical solution to finding the uh, uh, direction uh, to steer, course to steer to correct for current.